Now supply voltage, this is now becoming a little bit more technical. To change your supply voltage, you need to know what the supply voltage for your drive is supposed to be. If you know the type code of your drive and you know you've got a dash 3 drive, it means you need 380 volt supply and that is what you will see over here. Um, so I'm happy with the 380 volt supply there and I go to next. Then I get to the most important part of this exercise and that is motor data. To get this motor data, it is a motor nameplate that is on, the, uh, on your motor. So just fill in the answers to the questions that I ask you over here. I ask you what motor type, it's asynchronous motor. If I go in there, I can either select asynchronous motor, permanent magnet motor or synchronous reluctance motor. In my case, I'm using a standard AC induction motor or asynchronous motor, so I select it. Go down with a down arrow, motor nominal voltage. I have to press the side arrow, not next. If I press next over here, I will go to the next setup screen. So I don't want to do that. Go back, go down to nominal voltage. You see the little side arrow. I press the side arrow key. And I can now change this to 230 volt, which is my motor nominal voltage as I get it off the motor nameplate value, uh, motor nameplate. Save it, go down to motor nominal current. In my case, it'll be 1.2 amps. So change it. Then you don't see anything else on the screen, but be aware there's a scroll bar on the side over here. It means I can go down some more. Motor nominal frequency. Obviously my motor is 50 hertz. Go down. Motor nominal speed, my motor is 1360 RPM. And I go down some more, motor nominal power, on my motor it's 0 0.18 kilowatt, really little baby draft. And I go down until I go back to the top again. Then I'm happy that I've filled in all the motor nameplate data. And I press next. It will ask me advanced motor settings. If you have this available, please put it in. The more information we put into this VSD, the better it will operate. So motor nominal cost phi or your power factor of your motor. In my case, it is 0 0.71. I do not have the motor nominal torque, so I don't have to put it in, and then I get to motor control mode. This is very important, guys. I've got a choice, either DTC or scalar. Now, DTC is a control system from ABB, which is on all our flagship uh, VSDs, such as our ACS880, the older ACS800, also on our medium voltage drives. I strongly suggest that you use DTC uh, because of the superior uh, control uh, philosophies that you get with it. In one of the later slides or later videos, I will explain to you what is the difference between DTC and scalar. But scalar is normal frequency control. It is good for pumps and fans and so, uh, so forth. But I strongly suggest that you guys use DTC wherever possible. So I've got DTC selected and then I go to next. Then I get to the limits uh, screen. This point in time, I'm not going to change anything on the limits. My minimum speed, my maximum speed is set up according to what I've put in uh, on the previous screens. It converted to 50 hertz and whatever to RPM. Same as maximum current, it decided, uh, the VSD itself decided this maximum current should be 3.06 amps according to my nameplate data that I put in. So I'm happy with this. I'm going to just leave it like that and go to next. 